was gone. Did you see him land? Oh no. Jack. He, he can't be. I, I'm so sorry. This is all my fault. If I hadn't... No, Jesse. This isn't on you. You said it was an accident. That means it could have happened to anyone. I'm sorry, Nurm. Come on. I guess this is how they keep the mobs out. in peace. We're not gonna hurt you, I promise. We've been told that before. Fred, Fred, Fred believed it. Then he was stabbed in the back. Now what? I've never seen you before, and, and I know everyone. Everyone in the underneath. Inta! She's not coming back, is she? Someone in there has to know where that weapon is. Let's go. Careful. They might be well-armed, and now they know we're coming. Have been returned. Festivities will close with a fireworks display as usual. And don't forget to sign up for our Faithful Friends of Fred trivia competition for a chance to win one night in Fred's house. Come on, people. We can't let Kent win every time, can we? Study up. Competition starts at Fred o'clock. Why did I say that? They're having a trivia contest? Doesn't that seem a little silly? Silly? They're trapped underground with a bunch of monsters, including a giant freaking Enderman. Hey, we just got here. We have no right to judge them. Okay, sorry. I think it's kind of nice. Welcome to Fred's Keep. My name is Binta. This is the part where you tell me why you're here. We're looking for a weapon that belonged to Fred. It's supposed to be hidden in his home. Maybe we could take a look? Fred's house is sacred and locked. No one enters unless they win the contest. No one. It's how we honor Fred. Even I only enter through its doors on special occasions. You have to help me, this is important. I don't have to do anything for you, outsider. The door is locked until the contest is won. No amount of arguing will change that. Fred built this place, made it safe from all the monsters out there. This is his legacy, his final request. I'm not breaking my promise to him. You're welcome to try your luck. See how well you know Fred. I don't know him very well at all. I, I've never met him. Guess you better start researching. Good luck. This place is weird. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? Uh, not quite yet. Oh, you are really cute. Go get it. his feet? Nope. Hurt my painting hands going out into the wilds beyond the keep. Nasty stuff out there. Should have listened. Not safe to wander. That's why no one ever leaves. Taught myself to paint like this, but these old dogs aren't up to crafting. How about we make a trade? 
you craft me a canvas, and I'll tell you Fred's favorite color. You know, I got some wool, but not enough sticks. You'll have to find some more to get it done. Get that done prompt-like. <laughs> I'm on a roll, and this one's almost finished. You got it. There, I'm looking for information about Fred. Well, this here was Fred's cherished pet, but you'll never guess his name. Never. You stay in there now. Don't want that dog getting you now, do we? How can I get him to call out that chicken's name? place looked like before. Bet it was amazing. The admin's not gonna do this to Beacon Town, is he? We have no idea what he's doing up there. It could be all gone, and we'd have no idea. If he does anything to Beacon Town, then I'm gonna be the one to make him pay. You're, uh, kinda scary sometimes. In a good way. Look, if there's one thing I learned in the Slammer, it's that I have to keep my body ready for anything. Uh, one, uh, two, uh, and a half. <sighs> please, please, don't hurt me, stranger. I did what you asked. Yeah, okay, don't freak out. I'm backing away, nice and non-threatening. The one. The one who thinks they can beat me as a faithful friend of Fred. Hey, dude. And I'll tell you something, stranger. I am the most faithful friend of Fred, which means I always win. And that means you will lose. So good luck. I don't even know what to do with that one. something about Fred? Uh, yeah, actually. How did you... His favorite tool? A diamond hoe. That's why I use two. And why I take farming my mushrooms so 
super, super serious, eh? For serious. Cool? Yeah, sure. Makes sense. Uh, bye. What are you up to? Uh huh. Uh, uh oh. I'm just trying to figure out if, if there's a better way into Fred's house than, well, studying. Just in case. Hey, um, Jesse? Yeah? Do you think Radar still thinks. I don't know. I feel like everyone's looking at me differently. You noticed it too, right? He's being weird with me. Like, like he thinks I'm still. still with the admin or something. Don't let it get to you, Petra. It doesn't matter what he thinks. Yeah, I'll try to keep that in mind. Just had to, you know, make sure I wasn't the only one who noticed. Nice. serious fetch artist. Ah, there you are. Are you ready to begin? I'm ready. Let's do this. It's about time. Attention, everyone. Let all faithful friends of Fred gather, for our competition begins now. Gather round, everyone. Will the contestants please take the stage? Please welcome reigning champion, Kent. And we have a challenger. Uh... Jesse. It's Jesse. Jesse! That feeling of intimidation? Totally normal. I have that effect on people. Comes from being the best. What a pinnacle of intellectual fortitude. Kent, be my best friend! May the most faithful friend of Fred win. Oh, I will. For our first question, I thought we'd mix it up a little. I challenge you to build a faithful representation of our dear Fred. Yeah! Jesse's the best at building! Not the time, Radar. Begin!
face. Yes, yes, yes! Jesse, it's as if you've known Fred his whole life. What? How can you say that? That, that thing looks nothing like our fallen leader. Fred's true spirit didn't lie with his exterior, Kent. But what was underneath? This is his true essence. Though, I must give you points for accuracy. Such painstaking detail. I declare this round a draw! What? This was quite possibly the best presentation of Fred's in the history of our competition. Now for the questions. Kent, you will go first. Of course. Remember, you have a limited time to answer. What was Fred's favorite food? Oh, that's easy. Any truly faithful friend would know that Fred enjoyed bread. Correct! Now you, Jesse. Fred was a loyal fan of the color blue. We all know that. But what kind of blue did he love the most? Your time begins now. Come on, Jesse, you can do this! His favorite color was lapis blue. That is correct! Well done! Next question. Kent, Fred was a man of simple means, but he had one point of excess. His favorite tool, what was it? A diamond hoe. Obviously. Very good! Jesse, Fred had a constant companion, a fine, feathery friend. <laughs> What was that pet's name? We actually met a chicken named Benedict once. <laughs> really? Fred's pet, his best friend, was named Waffles. For the way he was always waffling. That is correct! Jesse, well done! I am rather astounded that the competition continues to be this close. Kent... You might finally lose your title. Listen closely, both of you. The final question is one that only the most faithful friend to Fred could possibly know. As such, it is worth double. Whoever answers this question correctly first will win one night in Fred's house. Of all the trees in the forest, of all the wood we once built our homes with. This was Fred's favorite. What was it? Wait, what? Uh, no one knows that. Uh, Fred didn't play favorites with resources. Ah, but that's where you're wrong. But, but, uh, I, I... Time's running out. We need an answer. It's Birch. It's Birch! You, uh... Yes. Yes! Birch was Fred's favorite. That's right! <laughs> Way to go, Jesse! Congratulations! That was very impressive. I'm sure I'm not the only one surprised by this turn of events. As your prize, you will spend one night in Fred's house. Be careful not to disturb its contents. And here are your sleeping garments. The true <laughs> mark of Fred. Only the champion gets to wear these. It's a very special privilege. You know, Kent did a great job out there. He, he should have the, uh, sleeping garments. You would really... I don't need your pity prize. Here's an idea. No one gets them. How about that? <laughs> Jesse. You find what you're looking for. Okay, if I were a weapon of some sort, where would I be? No one will mind if I just. <laughs> Fred's favorite color. Even the bed's blue. Whoa, half the paint.
pages are gone. And the rest, there are a lot of notes. The foundation. Secret room. There's got to be something down here. This one is called the Survivor's Book of Secrets. Okay, secrets are good. contains the collective knowledge of the survivors. We're an underground group of survival experts who have been around since the early days. Yeah, it goes on. Signed by the chief. Another book. Great. But it's unmarked. No author. I know I had my doubts, but it was worth leaving home. I'm glad I had Zara and Romeo with me. That this is Fred's journal. I don't know what Romeo wants anymore. It hurts. All I wanted was the three of us together. Maybe we should have never left the cabin. We weren't just happy there. We were home. Wait. Home? Then he wasn't talking about here. There's got to be something in here that says where this cabin is. Three towns. There's the oasis there and the keep. Third is Romeoburg. Seriously? What kind of name is Romeoburg? No cabin, though. Nothing else in here. Maybe the others found something. Binta! Jesse, I... There's something I need to ask you about. Uh... How did you know the answer to that last question? It's not common knowledge. And it was shared with me in great confidence before... I knew because Zara told me. She knew Fred better than anyone. Zara? As in... Fred's Zara. The Zara. The one and only. She hasn't been seen down here in a very, very long time. You're more impressive than you seem. Maybe they're right after all. Maybe you are from above the bedrock. Rumors have been going around since your arrival. There aren't many people we don't recognize down here. Yeah, about that. Well, did you at least find what you were looking for? This weapon. I don't know why Fred would have one, but I must admit I'm curious. Not the weapon exactly, but some promising clues. Romeo, Zara, and Fred had a cabin that they called home. We need to find it. Romeo? Did they say Romeo? The admin? Yes, the admin. Right now he's in our town, pretending to be me. We need to stop him. The problem is, we don't know where the cabin is. I want to help you, but there's something I need from you in return. If you're really from up there, then you must have a way back. Take us with you, above the bedrock. Above? Vinta, what are you saying? We don't know what's out there. It has to be better than this. We're safe here. And if Romeo... You welcomed us in. Of course we'll help you. Thank you. Sounds like you may have to do some convincing. They'll come around. The mycelium on this island has kept the monsters from spawning, and we've been safe here so far. But it won't last. Our only chance for a real future is up there. 
Zara's repairing the portal that will take us up. If you want to go through, meet us at the Oasis. Fred left this to me before he... <laughs> the needle points home. When he didn't come back, I tried to follow it, but got stopped at the gates to Romeoburg. They've got a massive army, so be careful. Please, take good care of it. You've shown I can trust you to respect Fred's memory. Are you sure you want to give this up? I mean, if Fred gave it to you... I think he would have understood how much more you need it right now. I'll prepare my people. You take these. Signal us when you're ready, and we'll be there. Great, you're here. We've got a new destination, so... Hey. Uh, wait, what? I, I don't think I heard that right. What did he say? He says he's not coming with us. He's gonna stay here and wait for Jack. Hey. Nurm, we can't just leave you here by yourself. Nurm, you can't stay. We need you with us. I think he said Jack needs him more. Hmm. Hmm. We understand, Nurm. He says he'll look for the fireworks. Once he finds Jack, they'll meet us at the Oasis. Hey, stay safe. some sort of strange world. Everything was all white. Master Shadow's domain. He claimed he was a ninja master, a practitioner of the shadow arts. At first, I wanted nothing to do with him. He was a very suspicious character. But eventually, after a lot of uncomfortable eye contact, he asked me, me, to be his pupil. 
I was confused at first because he didn't exactly present his credentials or curriculum, but I'm always open to learning. I'm a student of life after all. So I said yes. Before I knew it, I was punching trees, cleaning floors, all as part of my so-called training. At first, it seemed pointless. But after I had punched a forest's worth of trees and cleaned miles and miles of floor, two things became clear. Sometimes, doing menial tasks can be an amazing way to learn martial arts. And sometimes, strange old men just like tricking people into doing their housework. <laughs> anyway, it all worked out because now I'm a ninja. And my newfound ninja skills helped me find my way to you. Are you... are you done? Please, please be done. Ha! Huh, yes! I suppose I'm doing a lot of talking. I just had a lot to say after all of that quiet and mysterious business. It's so good to see you. This is insane. Oh, you know you missed me. Nope, really did not. Get in here, Petra! What? No, no. So awesome. But seriously, what are you doing down here? Let me explain. You see... It all started when Harper and I returned from our vacation. We discovered that while we were gone, you had mysteriously vanished after fighting a prismarine giant named the Admin. Right. Only to return. Having defeated this Admin and taken his amazing powers. Wait, what? Yeah, that's not right. I mean, you didn't believe it, right? I did it first. How could I not? Looked like you, sounded like you, except now you could fly around and had all sorts of cool superpowers. Jesse, AKA the admin, gave me this and told me he had reprogrammed it to find the fraud, AKA you. But with my new ninja senses, <clears throat> I could tell something wasn't right. Anyone who disagrees, anyone who questions Jesse, disappears. Oh, they must hate me. It's certainly not helping your reputation. No, but I knew that Jesse, the real Jesse, would never act like that. That's why I decided to try and use this opportunity to discover the truth. Luckily, it worked out because I would have felt terrible about killing you. Classic thing to say to your friends. I can tell you're being sarcastic. But you'd be surprised. Please, as if you could have actually killed me. I'm a ninja now, Jesse. You'd be surprised just how deadly I can be. Anyone else get chills? I got chills from that one. Wait, but what am I doing wasting time talking? If I don't get back to the prison soon and report in, the admin will know that something isn't right. That's perfect. You can make up a lie and you'll never suspect that I'm actually down Which here. will buy you the time you need to find Fred's weapon. Hold on! How'd you know about I'm that? I'm a ninja. Anyway, that plan is all well and good. But what exactly should I tell the admin? It needs to be plausible, but dramatic. Yeah, believable, but entertaining. Realistic, but shocking. Within the realm of possibility, but against all odds. Tell him I died trying to flee the Sunshine Institute. Fluff up his ego. Let him think that he built an inescapable prison. Ah, oh, yes. A fed ego is a happy ego after all. I'm sorry I can't stay longer, but I must go. Go. We'll see you when we get back to the surface. Oh, wait. Can I borrow that amulet? Certainly, but why? Long story involving a portal and a magic frame, but it'll help us get home. Please hurry. It's getting dire up there. Smoke bomb! <laughs> ah! You saw nothing. We all just saw that, right? I, I didn't, like, hallucinate Ninja Ivor? Nah. -uh. Just when I thought that crusty dude couldn't get any weirder. And we're ready to roll. Come on, guys. 